Hi everyone, my name is Matt. I'm a driver in training in Manitoba, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Ain't that right, Zoe? Good morning, Weasel. How you doing? How you doing? Did you sleep well? Did you sleep good? I said fine, thanks. Thank you very much. You want something? Can I help you? Say hi to everybody. Hello to everybody. You ready for a new day or what? I'm ready for a new day. So we're here in, uh, uh, where are we? In Iowa, we are uh, at a truck stop. No, oh, there is no town around here, eh? Let's say what, see what, it's Ainsworth Four Corners Fuel. I think it was exit 66 on uh, US 218. And uh, it says here Ainsworth Four Corners Fuel in Ainsworth, no, Oregon, Iowa, USA. That is so confusing. The address is 7FR7 plus QM, Ainsworth, Oregon, Iowa, USA. I don't think Google even knows where we are. All right. Well, welcome to the day. Today we're going to deliver this wood we have on our trailer behind us. I'll go give you a quick look at it now. Got to get it off my trailer. It's weighing me down. I don't want it anymore. Kind of heavy to carry this stuff around everywhere. I ain't got to do what you got to do whole bunch of wood. So let's go get them to take this off my back. And then we head down to Jackson, Tennessee. All right, trailer is still attached. It's not gonna fall off. Awesome. I just gotta roll up here to the pumps because these guys don't have uh, garbage cans in the back of their lot. And I forgot to carry my garbage with me when I went in to grab my coffee. I'm just gonna be a little lazy here and just drive to the garbage can. Drop it off there. And I can figure out who's trying to get a hold of me there too. Oh, bumpy locked. Somebody really wants to talk to me. Oh boy, wow. Busy morning. All right. Let's go bring our garbage out there. I got a hold of the customer to let them know that I'm, you know, on the way. They know I'm on the way. I was just gonna let them know when I'd be there. They wanted, they told me to call them this morning and let them know. And I'll probably be there at two o'clock. I might not even get unloaded today now. Apparently they go home at two o'clock in their, sh their shipping or not, they're, they're receiving, well, shipping and receiving. Two o'clock, so they get there at seven in the morning and they go home at two. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, that's seven hours. Plus you gotta have a lunch break in there somewhere and maybe a coffee break. So what, your, your day is only like six or less hours? Six hours, that must be nice trying not to be too frustrated here, but it really bothers me when companies, especially shipping and receiving departments, go home so early. Like, it's one thing if they start early, like if they would be open at like five till two, okay, I understand that, you know, it's a full day, it's just odd hours, I don't like that either, but whatever, it's a full day. But this is like, you only show up for six hours a day and then you go home, like there's a lot of drivers out there who need to deliver or pick up freight in the afternoon too. There's a lot of places like this, and I don't like it. That's that's way too early to go home for shipping and receiving, but you know, that's their choice. Their choice. If I ran the business, I sure wouldn't be sending my people home that early. But I also have 
this thing, you know, I like to make money. So I always find, oh, that guy was windy. Oh, the guy just passed me. There's quite the wind gust going around him there. Anyway, I'm going to get there at 2 o'clock. Like, at 2 o'clock. I'm going to see if they're going to unload me, so I'm going to push them. I'm going to call them again when I'm right close by. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be rolling in your in your gates at 155. It's just an easy load of lumber. How about it? Let's just quickly get it unloaded. You don't gotta worry about me in the morning. You can, don't have to unload me first thing in the morning. How about that? And then I can drive down to Jackson, Tennessee and get reloaded. How about it? Otherwise, I'm gonna be stuck there from 2 p.m. until you know tomorrow morning, twiddling my thumbs. Let's see if I can use some persuasion skills. Very often, if you'll get there, like, right bang on the button, closing time, if it's just a load of lumber like this, usually they'll unload you. But some places are pretty, no, I don't want to miss the football game. I got to be home. All right, all right. So this is part of trucking. You guys always ask me, you know, advice of trucking. Uh, you're gonna need some patience. You're gonna need the ability to hurry up and wait. There's a lot of these uh, shippers out here, they, they don't make sense. But you just gotta smile and nod, be polite, shake your head when you go back to your truck and you're by yourself. Oh, we're just a ripping her. We're just ripping her across Missouri here right now, trying to get to St. Peter's uh, before they close. St. Peter's is uh, sort of right on the west side of St. Louis, Missouri, or St. Louis. I say St. Louis. Mm -hmm. But uh, they, they shut down their receiving at 2 o'clock, and it looks like I'm going to get there at 2.05. So I uh, slapped on the headset there. I gave them a call and put on my most convincing trucker josh voice and ask them very very nicely look i've been running really hard i've been trying to get there before two o'clock i'm going to be about five minutes after two any way i could get this freight off my trailer today yet so i could be on my way instead of having to wait till morning and they were actually really nice about it they said yeah no problem come on in i'm here till 2 30 anyways usually we close down at two but i'll be here a little later today anyways come on in we'll get you unloaded and get you on your way Mm. Yes! Still got it. Still got it. All you gotta do is talk nice to people and be polite. Just ask nicely. You have not because you ask not. Somebody said that once. So I asked. I know you're technically closed, but hey, I'm only five minutes after closing. What do you think? What do you think? Come on. Come on. So that makes me happy. Uh, so we'll get this stuff off the trailer today yet so I can get down to Jackson, Tennessee tonight and get my reload first thing in the morning. Or maybe even tonight yet. I still gotta call them now because now that I know that I'm gonna be there tonight, I can give them a proper ETA. Yeah, maybe I can go there. It's already waiting there for me. I just gotta tie it down. If we can get out of there tonight yet. I'll have to work on my convincing persuasion skills there once again. That's a really big place that I'm picking it up from though, so I highly doubt that uh, they're gonna stay that late for me to come pick up my trailer if they go home at like, let's say four, but seeing as they are a big place, they might have 24 hour crews there. I don't know, we're on a roll today. I'm about 20 miles from St. Peter's. We've been in the left lane gang most of the day. I haven't been hanging out in the left lane, but I've been here a little more often than I usually am. Just a given her. As fast as this truck will let me go. Or I should say as fast as the law will let me go. I guess that's a better way of putting it, but the law says I can go faster than my truck says I can. I am gonna adjust my speed limiter on this truck eventually, but I don't really see any point in doing it right now because usually I only run 60 mile an hour anyways. It just would be nice to be able to at least get up to 70 mile an hour 
for those for those times when the speed limit's you know 70 75 and you're running late and you just want to give her for a day or if you want to get past somebody on a two lane you need to hammer down a little bit more because they're going slow that would be nice to be able to open it up a little bit and make that possible so yeah eventually i'm gonna i'm gonna open the truck up but uh the thing is I think in Quebec and Ontario, you have to be limited to 105 kilometers an hour. But I have heard of court cases where that got thrown out if your company is not based in Ontario or Quebec. Because it's an Ontario and Quebec provincial legislation, provincial law that says that you have to limit your truck to 65 mile an hour or 105 kilometers an hour. And since it's a provincial law, that law cannot apply to people from other provinces. And since I'm based in Manitoba, they can't tell me that I have to limit my truck. So I don't know. I've heard of cases of it being thrown out of court. I don't really want to test them. So that's another reason why I don't really want to take the limiter off my truck because I don't want to get in trouble and I don't want to make waves in Ontario or Quebec, especially Quebec. I don't want to make waves in Quebec. I can't even understand them when they get mad at me and start yelling at me in French. I don't even know what they're talking about. They're pretty strict, especially if you don't speak French. <laughs> they go a little harder on you if you're not actually French. This way to St. Louis. Okay. Right, which way? I think I gotta turn left. Here we go. Slide left on I-70 East. Thanks, Karen. St. Louis, exit only. Left this way. Exit 45 mile an hour. All right, Trucker Josh. Whoa. Take her easy. Right lane ends. Good. I'm in the right lane. Well, I'm in the left lane, but the left lane is the right lane in this case. And we got a merge up ahead here. Let's see how busy this highway is. We're merging onto Interstate 70 uh, off of what was that? What was that? Interstate 64? No, I was on a U.S. highway. I don't know. I 70 right here. Everybody's moved over. Thank you very much. Off this road for 18 kilometers. 10-4, Karen. I still always want to call her Mandy. It's such a bad habit. It's like calling your new girlfriend your ex's name. Whew. That's a bad idea. I've never done it. But in this case, I keep calling Karen Mandy. One of these days, she's going to snap. I know. She's, she's, she gets mad when I do that. far away are we? 10 minutes? 15 minutes. Should be less than that. The GPS says we're 15 minutes away, but 18 kilometers doesn't take 15 minutes. What a huge U.S. flag over there. Ooh, that thing's huge off on the left. There are some big flags that you see. Oh, it's an RV dealership, of course. Camping World. They always have the biggest flags. Park over here, somewhere out in the open, unstrap, and someone will come unload me. Their exact words. We'll park right in the middle here, I guess. Let's start unstrapping. And off we go. All empty. Took exactly 14 minutes. Since the time I pulled the brakes to the time I'm rolling away. It's nice and quick. So now I just gotta go find a place to park somewhere and set up my GPS for the address I'm going to in Jackson, Tennessee. Where do I go from here? Go straight, right? Is this a stop sign? Do I have a stop sign here? I stopped anyway. No, I didn't have a stop sign. Nope, didn't have a stop sign. All right. Tennessee, here we come. I haven't been to Tennessee in a couple of years. I'm excited. This is the Missouri River. Man, these bridges are huge. Looks like the one on the left over there is newer than this one. Maybe they just cleaned that one off. Maybe this one's next on the, on the agenda. I don't know. Huge river. Wow. River looks pretty.
pretty high right now too. I don't know where it usually is, it's probably normal. Just look at the amount of people here, eh? Wow. Here comes the Tennessee border. Check this out. That bridge looks pretty huge. I think this is the Mississippi that we're gonna be crossing, right? What does this say? Yep, Mississippi River. Good old Mississippi. Here it comes. It's not possible, Karen. We're going to Love's Travel Plaza here off to the right. Uh, I'll have to look at the town's name again. Dyersburg or something like that. We're in Tennessee. So I'm hoping that there's going to be parking here for me. I don't want to go all the way to Jackson because I, I highly doubt there will be any parking for me there by the time I get there. Oh, my. It looks full here already. Nice Kenworth up ahead here with the four ways on. Really nice. Oh, is this full? Wow. So it's like 9.15 in the evening. So I say it's another 45, 50 minutes down the road to Jackson. And I'm pretty sure that if I get there around 10 p.m., there's gonna be no parking. Look at this already. There's already no parking here. Well, we'll see what they got in the back. Let's see, maybe it's just busy around the pumps here right now. From on Google Maps, it looked like this is kind of a weird parking lot. I might have to spin around. There's a lot of blindside parking off on the right here, but I'd have to back, turn around and back all the way down there from here. Let's see what they got. Let's see, this guy in front of me is gonna want a spot first. No spots available here. Reserve parking off on the right. I don't want to pay to park. Oh, ho, ho, somebody's pulling out. Ah, uh, looks like that guy's gonna take that spot. If he doesn't take that spot where that red truck's pulling out of, I'm taking it. Guarantee you he's gonna back in there though. What's he doing? What's he doing? Are you backing in there? Oh, looks like he's gonna go back in a different spot. Well, then I'm gonna back in here. Yep. Right here, that's my spot. Well, Diesel. We got pretty lucky. That guy pulled out just as we pulled in. Got a pretty close spot up here too the building I'm not taking any risks I'm not going any further down the road I already got like one of the very last spots I think there's one two three left on that side but there's a dead end at the end of the row over there right and then you got to turn around but there's not really enough room to turn around in here there might be but you got to be careful that your the the rear end of your trailer doesn't swing out and take off someone's bumper right it almost be better off to do a u-turn over here by the pumps and then back all the way in here and then back into a spot like that over there or something. But hey, we have our spot. I'm just gonna go check to make sure I'm straight, okay? Gotta make sure we're straight. Looks straight to me. 
That looks straight to me, but I am further over. I'm not centered in my spot. I'm further over that way than this. I'm not exactly in the middle. I'm gonna fix that before I shut down completely. You see, the nice thing about Loves and Pilot Flying J, and I think TA and Petro as well, they have these garbage cans at the back of the lot as well. So you never have to really walk very far to get to a garbage can, which encourages drivers to use the garbage can. Because I've noticed at truck stops where they don't do this, drivers just dump their garbage in just on the ground. It's disgusting and terrible, but that's what you got to do to get them to use the garbage can, hey? Now it works, and then they just put these little things on here. Make sure that they don't fall out or fall over. And that's that. So that's the day today. Here's our trailer. I've got my backup lights on right now just so I could see how even I was. So, see that there? Out there. You know, it isn't quite centered, but I'm just going to leave it already. The only reason I sort of want to center is to bring my nose of my truck further this way because when this guy comes out, he's going to swing out this way. And I don't know what kind of driver he is. I don't want him to take off my front end, but as you can see here, his tandems are slid way forward on his trailer, so he should be able to make it around my truck no problem up there. It's the guy on the other side that's going to have to worry about his rear end here swinging out when he makes that sharp corner around my truck and hitting his truck. But see what happens i'm going to bed everybody thanks for watching today don't forget to subscribe you can also find me now on cdl life on their app it's sort of like a facebook for truckers i'm posting my videos there as well i discovered it the other week and i like it i can't believe i haven't discovered it before i feel like i've been missing out on all the fun but uh my username there is at trucker josh if you find me there if you use the app find me on there and follow me there it's another place where i'll be posting I did delete my Facebook friends page, so I don't have that anymore. I don't like Facebook very much. I don't like the way they sell your data and stuff. So I, just, I still have my Facebook Trucker Josh page that you can like. Link down below in the description. There's also, uh, instead of posting on the, like a regular Facebook, I'm just posting on the CDL Life. Sort of the same thing, but just for truckers. So. Or non-truckers, you don't have to be a trucker to sign up. I'm tired, I'm going to bed. We'll see you tomorrow.
Just a little bonus footage for you hard, hardcore people that are still watching. I'm walking into the store and there's a whole truck of Chevys. And guess what's on the back? This is the first 2020 Silverado 2500 HD that I've ever seen in person and it's a high country. Look at this. It's the first one I've ever seen. I wish it was a little lower. I'd like to look inside. My future truck, ladies and gentlemen. Except mine's gonna be black. And it's not gonna be lifted that high. That is beautiful. 